And then we also got an email from somebody who wasn't as thoughtful. That was well. The look, I have no problem with people criticizing Michael uh, in emails. <laughs> that is actually the least of the issue that I take with this uh, with this email. Uh, but when Sam gets critical emails. It's like a whole emotional crisis in the office. No, 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 no. That's not true. Yeah. I get critical emails all the time. But there is yeah, one thing that I don't like in an email. <laughs> and in fact, maybe we should do this now. Um, there are several things I didn't particularly like. Well, I don't mind. Email. I don't mind. I don't mind anybody slagging you. I mean, I think that seems, in, in many respects, very justified. But <laughs> uh, this is an email from a listener, George, uh, a member. Uh, Michael, stop repeating Israeli propaganda. Michael claimed on the show that Hamas wanted Palestinians to be killed by Israel in order to garner support of their people. Almost identical to Israel envoy claiming Hamas celebrating the deaths of Palestinians. Very Nazi-like attitude. I am very disappointed. Now, let's take that part of the email first, okay? I don't think... No, you can't say... Michael, you're going to stay out of this. I think, I don't, I think, I think Michael is more Nazi than Nazi-like. Yeah, I mean, I think it's... <laughs> <listen. laughs> <laughs> Things are getting ugly in here. All right, look. Um, Michael did not claim on the show that Hamas wanted Palestinians to be killed by Israel in order to garner, garner support of their people. Um, I don't think you claim that. Not even remotely. Okay. What uh, Michael said as far as I know, and I would agree with this assessment, or let me project onto what Michael said, and you tell me, Michael, if this is accurate, that uh, in the same way that I believe Netanyahu and the Israeli government exploited the kidnapping of and killing of these three um, Israeli teenagers, in the same way that they held uh, uh, the information that they were probably dead and um, did not release the audio 911 footage of the boys being shot or the, um, the results of an investigation that found blood on the seats, which they clearly must have known were the kids, right? Um, in the same way that they suppressed that information and used that as a pretext... Uh, and in the same way that the Israeli government uses Hamas's uh, firing rockets or killing civilians as a means in which it allows them to build support domestically, Hamas does the same thing with the deaths of Palestinians. And anyone who, th who thinks that Hamas is a uh, is an organization to be applauded or praised, it must not be interested in the cessation of violence nor the protection of Palestinian lives at this point. Can I now, say this is different from saying that they are responsible for it, uh, or, or et cetera, et cetera. And this is different from saying uh, that the Israeli government doesn't deserve um, full responsibility for the deaths of Palestinian citizens. The reality is, and this is time to be grown-ups now, the reality is, is that these entities, whether it's the Israeli government, whether it's Hamas, more often than not act in the interest of their maintenance of power. Hamas was very weak before this started. Very weak. They were also not responsible, as far as I can tell, for the killing of these Israeli teenagers. And I and, and, absolutely and, never said that. Right, right. And, and yes, yeah. and Michael never said that. But, the, you know, look, I think most people are aware of that. But, but I, now I'm talking the, the, the bigger issue. And so you, you have to be an adult to absorb, I think, some of this material. 
There is no clean hands in this uh, in this entire uh, conflict, short of probably um, the Palestinian uh, kids and civilians that have been killed and the Israeli uh, citizens. Now, on one hand, look, there's certainly far more agency on the part of Israeli citizens or leverage on the part of Israeli citizens with their government than I think it is for your average Palestinian living in Gaza on Hamas. And so, you know, if we want to really bear down um, and you want to talk about culpability, that you, you, you can, you can, you know, we could certainly make a broader argument. Now, and then, you know, if we're going to make that argument, we also have to include ourselves because our taxpayer dollars go to uh, pay for a lot of this weaponry. But I will tell you this, that it's not identical to what the Israel envoy uh, said. And it's also not very Nazi-like attitude. I don't even know what that means. And I just said really briefly, the, uh, I said there's an informal convergence of interest between Hamas and the right in Israel. Of course. Which is exactly the is. point. Of course That of is. course they both benefit from situations like this. It's mind-blowing. And, and it's, it's quite clear that Hamas's political power has increased and Abbas's, uh, the Fatah, has decreased. His popularity this, in the West Bank has increased, not just in Gaza, because of this. Hamas has increased. And, 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 and that was not the situation two months ago. All right. The fact that you're very disappointed, okay, that's fine. If this issue is not addressed, I am canceling my membership. This is what I do in these situations, all right? One of the best things about this show, in my mind, is that I cannot be fired. And... Short of a bunch of members all deciding on one day that I don't want to be a member of this show, I don't want to support this show anymore, or um, because of financial reasons I can't support this show, the idea of people canceling their membership will not impact this show. Do not send me an email. You want to send me an email saying that I'm an idiot, I'm a moron, Michael's an idiot, a moron, Matt's an idiot, a moron. I mean, particularly if you want to say Michael is an idiot or a moron, that's fine. <laughs> but when you attempt to leverage your membership over what we are saying on this show, I say to you, you're fired. You are fired. Your membership you should go ahead and cancel it. Because I don't do that. You don't pay me enough to keep me quiet. And certainly I can tell you that my views on this in the past have had implications with my career. Uh, but that will not happen here. <laughs> and so... And, and that's why I enjoy the show. Uh, so, yes, I've addressed the issue, but I think I have not addressed it in any way that you will ever be satisfied. Your membership is canceled. You're fired. Which I wanted to always to say, like... Uh, all right. Mainstream media is beholden by the corporations, man. That's why I support alternative media. Now, you guys better fucking say what I want you to say. Right, because <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Right. That's the thing. You could have you could have written this. Uh, you could have written three pages of all the critique. And I would have been perfectly fine with it. But when you try and leverage your membership over something like that, you know, if you write me say, you know what, your voice is really annoying. And I don't like your stutter and you use too many ums. OK. And you can't see your membership. OK, fine. Is it if you don't. Take voice lessons. I'm going to cancel my membership. Okay. That's fine. But when you talk about saying, hey, I don't like your content. 
And even if you write to me and say, I've canceled my membership because you know what? I can no longer support this show. We had somebody who did that. did that. Yeah. And I said, I wrote back. I said, look, I disagree with your points X, Y, and Z, but I perfectly understand uh, that, uh, why you're canceling your membership. But when you try and leverage it, that to me, you, you know what you should do? You should go watch and go, uh, you know, watch the corporate media. Good luck with them. Because that's exactly what they do.